What's up, homies? We're out here on my paddleboard on my favorite river in all of Florida, the Loxahatchee River. You know old Captain Planet's been down a few rivers in Florida, by golly. So when I say that this one's my favorite, it's for darn good reasons. Some of the biggest cypress trees that you're ever gonna get to see while paddling down a river. For the most part, I'm gonna just keep shutting up and let you guys enjoy this beautiful scenery. If I post a version of this on YouTube, you'll be able to see an even longer version of it on my Patreon. Sometimes you might see eight minutes worth on YouTube, but there'll be a half an hour's worth of the content on my Patreon page. So check it out. Same name, Eco Preservation Project. The Loxahatchee means something like winding river. That's what the natives told me in their native language. When I say natives, I don't mean somebody born in Florida. I mean the indigenous tribes of Florida. <laughs> Sometimes I have to reword how I say that because Florida is the only place I've ever lived where anyone born here refers to themselves as a native. Might be why, you know, like the Miccosukee tribe, their, their actual federally recognized name that they chose is the Miccosukee tribe of Indians of Florida. Maybe they did that, you know, to be a different than native. <laughs> I'm glad that I took the, the big fin off my paddleboard. It makes steering just a little bit harder, but it's it's getting underneath that riffraff just fine. I guess over it, not underneath it. <laughs> This river twists and turns quite a bit. So when the river's high, it's pretty low right now. It's manageable. But when the river's real high and you don't have a lot of experience, it's a great time to uh, invite a friend with you. Because I personally, even myself as a guide, have capsized on this river countless times in a canoe. When the river's up high, you don't see the, the cypress knees. See, I just hit one right there. <laughs> when that water's flowing good, if you hit a cypress knee and you aren't going perfectly straight, it'll just pitch you sideways. And it's hard to go perfectly straight in a river that's not straight at all. <laughs> that's why I love this thing, it's real neat. And I have never got to, to be on this river when it's this low. So all of these cypress knees to me look twice as big as when I'm used to coming. I'm gonna be paddling up this thing the whole time too. But you can see the bottom there. It's not very deep right now. If I wanted to, I could sit here and walk this paddleboard back if I needed to. <laughs> I 
It's such a rad place, huh? It's really cool because um, this is also the clearest that I've ever seen this water before. You know, um, with the rains, rainy season like it is right now, they haven't been getting the rain. It's been like kind of record drought or something like this over here in eastern Florida. Um, but usually the water's black. You can't see anything. Um, all the tannins from the rainfall and everything like that. But right now it's just crystal clear, the whole lake, or whole river. Really neat. It still looks kind of brownish because of those tannins, the chemicals in the leaves that fall down into the water. Think how a leaf turns brown on the ground, it turns brown in the water too, and kind of makes the water brown. Think of it like that. A little bit more complex than that, but. <laughs> Sure is something, huh? magic. <laughs> the way those little vines feel on your bare skin when you pass them, it's so cool. Like a little tickle. This one, boom, and it's flowing hard. <laughs> it, it'll pitch your canoe right up into that. You know, and, and when you're by yourself, it makes it for a tough time. But it's nice to have a friend, you know, because when you do capsize, they can kind of help you get back in the canoe. Look at that. Just look at it. Wow. Hey, tree. You are so cool, man. <laughs> you are the coolest. Wow. Thank you.